viewers, I am Manish Vizegar. Today we are going to learn about our earth. The earth is which place where we are living. And what are the earth and how the earth is working and a lot of things about earth. Let's learn all the things in the session, my dears. Let's start a session and let's learn more. Okay, first we are going to learn about the earth. The earth is uh, like a round like a structure and some of them are saying it looks like a orange in color and the earth is made up of three types of surfaces that is land, water and air. Uh, after this slide we can have a brief discussion about the land, water and air. Then the earth is also rotating himself and rotating the sun also because of that only we have a day and night changes and also a climate changes. The, uh, when the earth completed one rotation, one complete rotation is uh, when the human beings can take a count as a one year. That means which takes 365 days. This are the earth and the things why human beings can live in earth. Because the three things which the earth have the surface that is land, water and air. Because of these three things only human beings can live in the earth. Okay, let's see the next thing that is land. The land is a place where we are living and there will be different types of plants, plains and plateaus and lot of things and also because of the in the land only there will be a, um, many of them doing uh, agriculture, many of them are depending on the land only. Okay, let's see that. Uh, most of the hilly areas and valleys and mountains and snows also called as a land only. The mountain areas and valleys also called as a small land. Most of the houses and factories are also built in the plain areas and the farmers grow on the agricultures are doing in the plain areas. Many of the plants are grow on the hilly areas like Kodakanal, like many of the hilly areas, Shimla like that. And also there is a low land. The low land is called as a valley and also there will be a very high hills. The very high hills called as a mountain. This is the different and unique different types of land and the land's futures. Second that is in this image you can see the valley and the also a high mountain which was covered by snow. Okay let's see this next slide my dear that is water. The water is very very important for human beings to live and also in the water we are getting a water in pond, uh, rivers and lakes or also nowadays a major role of the water is the ground water. We are, by using of a bore only we are getting a water and also water is formed uh, the water by using of water conservation and uh, evaporation only we are getting a water as a rain also. Okay, in this image you can see that what are the useful things that are in a water. By using of water we can get a current, many of the dams or preferred father, many of the dams they are taking a current from a water and also by using of a water many of the fishes and whales or that, that is the main source for the fishermen and also the water is very important to grow crops and it's also helpful for agriculture and also human being contain 90-70% uh, of water by drinking of water only human being can survive so water is a very very important to us these are the sources and this is the important of water let's see the next one my dear that is yeah by breathing of oxygen and releasing of carbon dioxide only we are living so that is also a yeah the Plants and the animals also doing the same thing but they have a different types of things like uh, trees or observe carbon dioxide they release oxygen. So only we are saying that a plant more trees plant more trees because of planting more trees we get lot of oxygen. So make sure you will plant a tree. Okay my dears and the air is very very sufficient for us and it's very very important. So, uh, these are the air need and the air sources. Okay, I think in this session you will get a clear about the air and the sources, the land, water and the air. Okay, let's meet in the next session my dears. Thank you. Bye-bye.